Hi, welcome to our next video on Questus channel. Today we will talk about quantitative research in marketing. If you want to learn more about marketing research, gain basic knowledge of marketing planning and consumer behavior, and learn how to use the marketing mix in practice, we invite you to our applied marketing course. We've prepared for you a 10% discount with the promo code YouTube. You'll find the link in the description. And going back to today's video, you'll find out from it, among other things. What is quantitative research? What research methods do we distinguish within the quantitative methods? What are the advantages and disadvantages of quantitative research? Ready? Well, let's get started. The most basic distinction between marketing research methods is the one between quantitative and qualitative research. Today we will focus on the former. As the name suggests, quantitative research usually allows the researcher to answer the question how many, for example, how many people recognize our brand. Thus, this type of research is often used to determine aspects such as market share, the size of the demand for a product or service, or simply the scale of a given phenomenon in a given population. Such studies should be representative of the studied population, therefore, they are based on a large research sample. Thanks to this, based on the responses of a surveyed group of people, we can draw conclusions that define the behavior of a given community. The results can then be easily presented in the form of numbers, a table or a graph. In the case of quantitative research in marketing, the basic division of data collection methods includes the questionnaire and the interview. In the case of a survey, it is assumed that the respondents will complete the questionnaire on their own. Therefore, it is important that the form doesn't contain too many questions, as it might prevent the respondent from completing it. Moreover, the questions shouldn't be complicated, but clear and understandable. The interview, in turn, assumes interactions between the subject and the researcher. In quantitative research, it takes the form of an arranged, standardized conversation. As for the means of reaching the respondents, we can distinguish four basic ones. Face-to-face, -face, telephonic, mail or online. These are also divided into several types. So, let's discuss the most popular of them. The telephone interview may be either traditional or computer-assisted. The traditional form assumes making phone calls by the interviewer and marking the answers given by the respondent on a paper form. It allows for research to be carried out over a large geographical area, but is currently rather rarely used. The computer-assisted method, that is, CATI, Computer Assisted Telephone Interview, requires a research company to have an appropriate ICT infrastructure. In this method, the paper form is replaced by a digital one, and the interviewer is supposed to read the questions to the respondent and mark the answers. Then, they are sent to the system in real time and can be analyzed immediately. This method is often used in public opinion polls. Another method of quantitative research in marketing is a face-to-face -face interview. There are three types here. It can be conducted at home or in the office, which involves the presence of the interviewer in one of these places, asking questions and recording the answers. The interview method at the respondent's home is currently not very popular, mainly due to its low cost effectiveness. In turn, research conducted in the office is usually used in B2B cooperation. Street interview involves questioning respondents in public places, such as shopping malls or the city center. It is often used to test merchandising ideas, advertisements and other forms of marketing communication. Face-to-face -face interviews conducted at home, in the office or in public places are referred to as PAPI, paper and pencil interview. Computer-assisted personal interview, CAPI, also involves a direct meeting of the interviewer and the respondent. The form may be filled out by either of them. Currently, interviewers often use tablets instead of a computer, which undoubtedly provides greater opportunities to conduct this type of research, for example, in public places. Another group of quantitative research in marketing is research carried out by mail. Among them, we distinguish the traditional mail method and the mail panel. 
The traditional mail method consists in sending a packet containing a cover letter, questionnaire form, survey instructions and return envelope to a group of respondents. The recipient's task is to fill the questionnaire on their own and then send it back in a return envelope. The mail panel survey is conducted on a group of selected, constant respondents who agreed to regularly participate in surveys and product testing. This form of research may grant us a certain repeatability as it involves obtaining information from the same respondents. The last method of quantitative research in marketing is conducted online. The development of the Internet and technology undoubtedly contributes to its popularity. Two forms can be distinguished here. An email survey is simply a questionnaire sent to the respondent database in the form of an email that the respondent sends back with marked answers. On the other hand, an online survey is now a very popular method of conducting quantitative research. It can be programmed specifically for the needs of a given research, but there are also many ready-made tools that can be successfully used, especially with small research samples. Its main advantages are speed, low cost, relatively high quality of data and ability to reach a specific target group. Summing up, we've learned from today's video that Quantitative research allows us to answer the question how many. It usually is conducted on large, representative research samples. It can be conducted in the form of a questionnaire to be completed by the respondent or an interview conducted by the interviewer. Among the methods, we can distinguish telephonic, face-to-face, -face, mail and online. The latter, due to the dynamic development of the Internet, is currently the most frequently used method. That's all for today's video on Quest's channel. In the next video, we will discuss the second type of marketing research, namely qualitative research. Don't forget to leave a like and subscription. We also encourage you to take a look at our course. There is a link to it in the description. See you in the next episode on the journey for knowledge with Questus. Take care.